Okay, so today's video, I'm just going to go through with a tool called Raza X, which is something that they've uh, released. It's a, a nice UI for you, allowing you to build chatbots and things. And I thought I'd kind of revive an old chatbot project I had, uh, which worked on the old original version of Raza and make it work on 2.0, which you can then use with Raza X. So um, uh, the chatbot I had was basically just a very simple um, concept. It basically had a big table of facts about the royal family in the UK, so basically about each king or queen of England in one big table, and it knew things like, you know, which house they come from, when they were born, when they died, when their reign started and ended, description of them, famous battles and things like that, uh, even notable events. So from that table, the chatbot then derives everything it, it um, uh, can to respond to questions that people will ask it. So it's, it's been trained to do a bunch of uh, certain types of questions. So um, it's Razorax is quite cool. It's got this sort of nice um, graphical interface. It's web-based, so you've got all things that you can explore for your um, the, the inputs for your your system. So you can look at the look at all the the, the intents and the sort of um, other details you've set up. Uh, you can look at your natural language understanding training data, which you've um, got lots of uh, examples I've put in there. And you can look at the responses. You can look at things called stories, which are basically just um, where they, uh, um, how it responds to different situations and um, you know, which which uh, intents lead to which actions. So, um, yeah, so it's, it's quite cool. And um, basically the, the interesting thing I managed to do then is to, to revive the chatbot, um, make it a bit more modern, um, so it works for the latest version, as I say. And then I've um, integrated it with something that I built. I understood as well. a negative response. Oh, that's that's the speech thing. It's given the game away. So I I then integrated it with um, uh, another project I've got, which is basically just a, it's called Simple Loop, Simple Speech Loop. I mean, and um, what that does is it basically just takes the microphone, feeds it to some source, such as this Razor chatbot, but it could be anything, then gets the response and then speaks that back. So so it's using speech recognition to understand what the microphone has said, and then. Um, uh, feeds it to the bot, and then you get the speech response back. So, so here's here's the demo of it, and um, so I've got the microphone, which I'll sort of set up on the desk as well. Hello. Hello to you too. What can I say? I understand a handful of simple concepts related to the monarchy in the UK. There are various ways to select a particular ruler, such as the number, for example, the I. Six or six, or by a value, for example, William Rufus. Then you can pick out specific information such as date of birth, end of reign, famous battles, house, for example, of Tudor. Then the ML magic happens. I try to understand what you've said and then look up detail based on entities recognized in a database. Have a go. Or try give me an example if you're really not sure. Of the give me an example. How about this? Who was king after Richard the Lionheart? Who was king after Richard the Lionheart? John the First. When was he born? He was born on the 24th of December, 1166. Show me a picture of him. A picture of John the First. Show me a picture of Elizabeth the First. A picture of Elizabeth the First. Which kings were from the House of York? Edward the Fourth. Edward the Fourth. Edward the Fifth. Richard the Third. Which kings were in the seventeenth century? James the First. Charles the First. Charles the Second. James the Second. William the Third. Which rulers were in the 17th century? Based on my understanding of your question, Oops. I am not able to match any rulers. You may have a typo or a non-existent combination, for example, Richard VII. Which rulers were on the throne in the 17th century? Elizabeth I. James the first. So you see the difference Charles there. Charles the first. It's including the Charles the second. The queens. James the second. William the third. Mary the second. 
What are some events from the life of George III? 1764. James Hargreaves invents the spinning jenny. 1765. James Watt invents the improved steam engine utilizing a separate condenser. 1798. Edward Jenner develops the first successful vaccine. The smallpox vaccine. Who was the first king from the House of York? William the First. Hey there. Who was on the throne in 1492? Henry VII. How did he die? He died on the 21st of April 1509. What were the circumstances of his death? He died with the peaceful transfer of rule following his death in 1509. So, yeah, so basically that, that's it. I mean, there's a whole series of different styles of questions, but it's effectively taking the question and turning into a query, which it runs against this table and then spits the output out. So that's it. It's, uh, uh, it's surprisingly easy to hook these things up together. And, uh, yeah, if you're interested, have a look at Raza X. Just Google it and um, they've got a great forum. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's worth a look. I'll be posting more about this chatbot shortly. So, OK, thanks.